Have you tussled with the swimmers before? Even though they're a bunch of weaklings, they keep picking fights with me. Ever considered the issues that you're too strong? <laughs> It looks like we're not the only travelers out here. We should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. Talk about convenient! Any outsiders going to the capital are required to pass through a military checkpoint. They turn back anyone suspicious, I gather. Right. That's how they've managed to defend the capital from threat for all these years. desert gets awfully chilly at night. Take precautions to ensure you don't lose too much body heat. We demons will be just fine. You humans, you should worry. True. We seem to be more vulnerable to pretty much everything. We'll be careful. We interrupt this program for an update on the recent theft. A sketch from an eyewitness has enabled us to identify one of the perpetrators. Say what? This man, spotted inside the stolen tank, has been identified as Rao. Sixty-one-year-old sheriff of a small town to the north of the Central District. Known as Apato. However, when we ran the fingerprints of this, we discovered a far more shocking truth. Rao is a mere alias. This man's true name should be familiar to every citizen of this kingdom. For it belongs to the military genius who became a general of the Royal Army at the tender age of 27. The legendary super soldier who protected Sandland from rebels and outlaws alike. Famed for his mercy and gentlemanly conduct toward even his fiercest enemies. The great, renowned General Shiva. Huh? A staggering development to be sure. For General Shiva has long been assumed dead, killed by the massive explosion. Caused when he protected Sandland from the attempted peachy rebel- <laughs> Protected Sandland. What I did was murder. Not only that, but his nearby home was destroyed in that same slaying his beloved wife and robbing the world of the actress and musician, Sexy Terry. Oh! Uh, wh why didn't you tell me that? I'm mortified. If I'd known, I'd never have. Don't worry about it. I thought she was sexy too. That's why I asked her out. But if she was your wife, why am I... 
because all the photos I had of her burned up. Shiva! No! In inform General Hari of this at once! And while you're at it, tell the news office to double the room! And to make an announcement that anyone found sheltering him will... Y yes, sir! Say it! Shh! Keep your bo- What? Y you mean... I'm going to be fighting a legend? Now that's what I'm talking about! Send out the tanks, and reinforce our defenses at all locations! Yes, sir! So, what's the plan now, man? Unchanged. We find that spring, but first... I'd like to swing by one of the radio towers under the Army's control east of here. Huh? What do you want to do at a radio tower? I have a message that I'd like as many people as possible to hear. And the radio equipment there will let me broadcast what I have to say nationwide. Sort of fun. Nice! One down! Well, so it goes. Sure, going to the army's radio tower sits well with me. Is it really worth taking a risk like that? Look over there! Royal Army tanks! This is far too many troops to be defending such a remote location. Were they expecting us? It seems their commander's no stranger to war. to the army's radio tower sits well with me. Is it really worth taking a risk like that? Can't say. Maybe I've let my ego get the better of me. It's fine. Let the old fogey do what he wants. Good grief. I won't stand in your way. Thank you. Both of you. Focus your attacks. Bring them down one by one. Yep.
General Are, the tank squadron at the checkpoint has been decimated. They what? General Shiva's tank took them out and continued on. Ugh. Round up all the soldiers in the area. Prince, see the radio tower on top of that hill? That's our target. This'll be a piece of cake. Don't get cocky just yet. The army must be aware of our general location. They're sure to reinforce their defenses in the area. Be careful, Prince. Sort of fun. your disadvantage. Keep moving until you're in a better spot. <laughs> I wouldn't stop if you asked me to. for our what that's it the radio signalmen alert all units near the news radio tower via encrypted trans sir all vehicles advance east
Oh, what are you gonna tell everyone? The truth, and what's been on my mind. I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think we'll ever explore all of Sandland? The thought makes my head spin. I am intrigued, though. Gotta make the most of the journey. No holding back. Thank you. Relatively big. Our bot's ability should come in handy for exploring them. Are you really sure it's safe to drive a bot around such dilapidated ruins? There's no choice if we want to access all its areas. Nice! One down! These ruins look relatively big. Our bot's ability should come in handy for exploring them. Sure, it's safe to drive a bot around such dilapidated ruins. 
There's no choice if we want to access all this area. These ruins look relatively big. Our bot's ability should come in handy for exploring them. Are you really sure it's safe to drive a bot around such dilapidated ruins? There's no choice if we want to access all its areas. Maybe so. But I can't help imagining the whole place coming down on our heads. We should keep our distance from the army base unless necessary. I bet they've got loads of loot in there! Can't argue with that, but somehow I doubt they'd take kindly to intruders. If we can't talk you out of it, please at least try to be sneaky about it. Looks like we're not the only travelers out here. We should think about stopping by that campsite they're using ourselves. It's a communal camp that's open to all travelers. Talk about convenient!
Looks like they disabled it in advance to keep us from using it. They read us like a book. This commander's a pro. So you're saying this was all for... No, I think we can get it fixed. Just need the right... Ma we can use this... We can repair it. Just need materials. News office? This is Shiva. Former General Shiva. Yes, the man himself. I have something I want to tell the people of this country, if you'll let me transmit it. Yes, right away, please. We have just received radio contact from a man claiming to be General Shiva himself. What? He has a message for you all, and while we have not been able to confirm his identity, we have agreed to transmit his words live on air, beginning now. This is Shiva. First, allow me to sincerely apologize to you all for any... All units, cut the engines! Make it quiet! I freely confess to the crime of stealing a tank. But unlike what you were told previously, I have not attacked any... I swear this on my life. It is not my aim to spread panic and confusion amid this co I intend only to find a legendary spring, which I assure you is no mere fairy tale. For this country cannot withstand any more drought! The spring? Did he say spring? What, what is he even? So please, just allow me to finish this mission. When I find the spring, I promise to make its location public. That is all. Actually, I have one final message for a certain person on an entirely different subject. Though this doesn't absolve my role in causing that explosion 30 years ago, I've learned the truth behind it. Commander Zayu, you are the only one I will never forget. Over and out. Mr. Shiva, a question if you were... Uh, I'm afraid he's cut the line. <laughs> Contact the news office immediately! Tell to allow that criminal to speak freely on air again! This is bad, isn't it, Zayu? He said something about the truth behind that explosion! Uh, and then there's that spring. Do, do you think what. Oh, this is bad! I'm sorry for dragging you two into this. All right. Here Let's keep heading south. Why did you have to go pick a fight with the commander of the Royal Army? Sorry, when it comes to that man, I just can't... Uh, the Supreme Commander Zeo, sir. Yes, sir. I believe General Shi... He is no general. A mere ghost requires no title. Don't even try to capture him alive! Kill him! Once and for all! That's an order! Forgive me, but might I ask you just one thing, Supreme Commander? What Jet Shiva said about the truth behind that explosion, what exactly do you think he meant by that? You see, my own father was killed in that explosion, so... You fool! There is absolutely nothing of the... Shiva is only trying to rattle us! My apologies! Papa? 
He said he's looking. You don't. Don't fall for it. He's just pretending to be some selfless goody too. You can't trust people like that. Though if there's one thing we can agree on, it's that Zayu is a damn rat. All right. Come on, Guppy. Fire one shot right at the midpoint between Shiva and the Royal Army. Got it, Pop. It's Shiva! All tanks, prepare for battle! Enemy tank brigade. They're close by. W what? Prepare to engage. Hurry! the rocks and swing around in the other direction to attack them. That's the stuff. Good job, Prince. Fight like that must have been a piece of cake for you, Prince. <laughs> I know. Pretty badass, huh? Hold on. That was way too easy. They're coming. As their commander still stands, this battle won't end. Take him out! Prince, attack from their blind spot! Prince, attack from their blind spot! Back into position! You're searching for a water source for Sandland's people. Is it true? Yeah, it's the truth. The King's water is too expensive for most people to even afford the bare minimum to survive. So I 
promised my village that I would find a legendary spring. And they pooled the little money they had to send me off. And do you truly believe that such a spring exists? Of course I do. But something doesn't add up about the King's Water Swords. Some secret there, huh? Sorry. But as a general of the Royal Army, I'm afraid that's one question I can't answer. Human. He, he saw through our tactics and completely disabled our unit with zero loss of life. He's exactly the man my father said he was. I can't hope to compete. He's on a whole different plane. I'm afraid I can't tell you about the spring, and despite not answering your question, I have one for you. On the radio, you mentioned the truth behind the explosion 30 years ago. What is it? You may not want to hear it. I believe it, but I've got no hard proof. I am Are, the son of Apo, one of your very own officers. Please, tell me. I need to know the truth. Father's death. Apo's son, eh? I see. Very well, then. Thief, you're our source. He should hear it from you. You've got to be. Must I do everything around here? Hold on! Don't tell me you heard this story from him! You take the word of a demon?! If you won't listen to what he has to say, I can't force you. But let me say this. In this whole twisted world, I haven't met anyone as honest as these two. I trust them far, far more than any human, at least. Would you let prejudice blind you to the truth? Just like how our fear and suspicion of the Peachy caused this terrible tragedy. The Peachy? What do you mean by that? Papa! Guys from the army look like they're surrendering. Ugh, bunch of spineless cowards. But at least they're all together in one spot with the elves. Guppy! Turn every last one of them into fertilizer with that cannon! That bounty's as good as ours! <laughs> Damn it! What was that just now? A cannon? No. Don't tell me there was another tank. No. It came from... It's the swimmers. Those little... Beelzebub sp... Dang it. They got away again. I'm gonna pulverize them next time. That Beelzebub just saved our lives. Perhaps it's true that we've misjudged the demons. All right, I'll hear it. Tell me the story of what caused the explosion 30 years ago, thief. Nope, not till I hear the magic word. What? You little imp! Who do you think you're? Silence, you! Please, just tell me. Please? Blech. All right. Enough. Listen up. That's... that's impossible. 
I know Commander Zayu is a cold man, but I can't believe he could be so... Well, we've said our piece. And sorry, but it looks like we'll have to borrow the tank a bit longer. Sir, are you sure? Should we really be letting Shiva go like this? What do you mean by that? We never had him to begin with. What? We almost did, until the swimmers struck out of nowhere. They took out our tanks, then fled. That is what happened, isn't it? Sir, yes sir! Now, guess I should make my report to Supreme Commander Zeyu. No. Okay, now we can finally start heading south again. Roiling quicksand everywhere you look. One wrong step, and you'll be swallowed up. Don't worry. I'm light as a feather. Anyway, we can't proceed south unless we figure out... And how are we supposed to do that? Even the pr None of our bots will help either. The tank or jump bot would only be even worse. It would be easy if we could just fly over it. What if we just, you know, ran really fast? Explain, please. It kind of felt like I was sinking more slowly while I was running. Aha! Cross before sinking to the point of no return, eh? Prince, thief, let's head back to Spino. Let me guess. And to the rescue again? 